Alright, what's up guys? Plushy Panic here. And it's Bowser uh, back on here as well. Commentating Grand Finals of Smash Jam. It's game 2. Dink Ramen Boy taking Game 1. Uh, I'm not sure what stage they're on, but they're on Air Armada now. Uh, it's fairly even in percent, but uh, <laughs> Dink Ramen Boy does have a stock lead, and now he, he has, has two a two stock, stock lead. lead. Uh, but Raster, I mean, like literally anything, we'll do it right now from Raster. Like if he lands an up air, he can land an up smash. If he can land yeah. a forward air, forward strong, you know, like, there's a bunch of stuff that Rask can do. <laughs> or just jump yeah. over needles and get an F smash. Yeah, man. Why not? All right, let's see what let's see what Faraga can do here. I mean, Raster, he's super light, so this can be closed out super easily by Dink Ramen Boy. But Raster is definitely a comeback character. Like, he has really good combo game and can just end people's stocks in, a hit, like, one hit. Trying to go for a double uh, dash attack there, but uh, Ramen was already just coming out. All right. And, the, like, Frogo's not doing bad movement, but the problem is he's gaining so much percent 
uh, just because he's constantly throwing out attacks, even when he's just in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and I mean, that's the Raster special, right? You stick in the air, and you throw out hitboxes until one hits, and then you take it as far yeah. as you can go. But it's a lot like Melee Puff, but a well-placed back air from Dink Ramen Boy will seal that stock and take game two. Ethereum wants to know why you went random. Um, so, <laughs> no, I, I had already lost game one and two. Um, I haven't been feeling super confident about my Claren today. Uh, and so, rather than trying to stick it out after a really unfortunate game two, um, I SD'd uh, super early yeah. for almost no reason. Um, I have been thinking about trying Rano for specific matchups, and I figured I might as well try it here now to see how I feel about it. And yeah. Okay. Anyways, game three on Treetop Lounge. Uh, honestly, I don't know who this stage favors. I mean, it's Farago's counter pick, obviously, because uh, yeah. he lost the last game. But it's a really small stage, and so characters that want to rush you down really benefit from it. And Farago sealing the first stock with a I have nice a, read. I have a feeling, though, because that uh, Farago, because you watch him, he gets these combos, and he gets his punishes, but he can't get the kills on the larger stages. Yeah, that is true. So a smaller stage like Rockwall or Treetop will do him some good. Be able to seal stocks a little bit earlier, but oh, Dank Ramen Boy caught him on the recovery. And that's something that I noticed Dank Ramen Boy does a lot, is rather than just throwing himself at you for an edge guard, he puts himself on the side of the stage. Like he'll go off stage, up into the stage, wall jump, and stall, and wait for you to recover and catch you that way. Right. And I think that's really smart, because then he kind of has his options for him of when he wants to go off, rather than just running off and then reacting to it. He can just go whenever he wants. He's already off stage. Yeah, and we're seeing here Dink's uh, phenomenal movement really mixing up his approaches and shaking Frago up a bit. Yeah. That's Ooh, kind of that... what gave him control of the, of the game for a little bit. But both players very even at this point. Any Either one of them, good solid kill move, will give them the lead. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to see an up strong there instead of the up air. Up strong. I think he was in enough hit stun to for it to connect, and it definitely would have killed. But a well placed forward air will get the kill. And Virago, he's got to be careful. He is in death percent right here. Oh, and Dink Ramen Boy messes up the forward smash for the edge guard. He gets yeah. a little bit of percent tacked on him for it. Nothing too bad though. Like 10% against Raster is like nothing. But Frago has, yeah, has looking him off stage. so solid here. Down strong, not quite finishing it off. Dank ready for it there. Yeah. Ooh, tried to put himself out there to get oh. the recovery, but Dank Ramen Boy just a little bit too far off. Yep. Frago will take game three. Not going to get 3 0 in Grand Finals. That's good. That's good. Keep it up. Now, Dank deciding where to not go. Or. Or frog design or not go. Looks like yeah. we're not going to the gates. Yeah, he does. He doesn't want a stage that's gonna allow Dink Robin Boy to use a superior platform movement. Okay, so locking out uh, stage Aramada and well, technically, no, Dink. Won. Yeah, Dink won on Aramada last. That's why it was. X'd oh. out. Okay, so they X'd out because Dank just straight can't go there. Yeah, because it's not an option. Yeah, one. yeah, he did win on Air Ar Armada last, so. Yeah, yeah but Rockwall, this, this is a. The stage has the smallest blast zones in the game. Uh, right. The side blast zones. And it is one of the smaller stages as far as ground length goes. Not nearly as small as uh, Treetop, mind you. Yeah. But it's still a very small stage. But these platforms actually help with Raster's combo game a lot because. They yeah. Of the oh, yeah. way the platforms are placed, it allows him to reset his jump, uh, getting him all of his jumps back, allowing him to continue combos he otherwise wouldn't be able right. to. Right. But at the same time, it also allows Dank to kind of have that control, too. Um, his platform movement is phenomenal here, and he can utilize these platforms to really mix up his approaches, just like that right there. Yeah. So I love those the falling sour spot back airs from Dank Ramen Boy. It's something he does a ton, and I like. Every time, it just leads into this insane combo. It's so fun to watch. Ooh, I like that. And I always love Dink Ramen Boy's approach. I'm recovery options, huh. rather. That's an interesting, uh, 
animation. I've never seen that one before. Yeah, that's a newer one. Uh, they didn't originally have it when the character came out. Yeah. Uh, it's something they added. Uh, just add a little bit of extra parry stun to it. You know, because after that animation is done, he goes into regular parry stun. Ah. So you have a lot of time to punish that. So it, it's more like, ha, I slapped your tongue. Just have it slapped back to your face kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Ooh, this could be death. Oh, oh this is this neutral B. It's not gonna. Ooh, yeah. It that, does it kill. Will. Those, All right. those blast zones coming in clutch. Yeah. Froggle, you know, looking fairly strong again. This is looking to be a repeat of Winner's Finals where Froggle was down two, uh, was able to take the, se the next two games, uh, and then came down to game three. Yeah, very well. Oh, oh, he jumps right back into that. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'm sure that's not what he meant to do. No. I think he meant to throw out a hitbox there to punish it. Yeah, you can see he was starting uh, forward strong, but it uh, didn't come out before he got hit by the down strong. Yeah. This could be death. Beautiful, but uh, dang, uh, DI'ing in, getting the tech, and recovering off the wall. What's, what's the recovery? Ooh, just straight up Nair. Yep. Uh, I mean, Froggle was ready for it. He did go for the parry, but did not catch it. Yeah, it's because he didn't fastball. If he had fastball on that, then the parry would have connected. But right. because Dink Ramen Boy didn't fastball it, uh, the hitbox ended before he landed and didn't connect with the parry. Ooh. Had the read, uh, just Little. wasn't as confident in it. Yeah. Ooh, and that'll that take will it. take it, unfortunately. <laughs> For, unfortunately for Farago. Yeah. However